Thank you, Senator Schumer. We appreciate your appearing before us, and we know that Senator Gillibrand shares your feelings she does. about this nominee. Uh, we're going to start with a round of questions, and uh, each member will have five minutes uh, to ask those questions. Judge Schopler, why did you decide to join the National Guard? Uh, thank you for the question, Chair Durbin. Um, I've had a lifelong commitment to pub public service. My parents taught us that public service was the highest calling, so it's something that I had always wanted to do. Uh, and I was, uh, one of the greatest honors of my life was being able to commission in the U.S. Army and California Army National Guard and to serve my country overseas. And you were deployed to Afghanistan, I understand, in 2018? That's correct. I was a judge advocate for a Green Beret unit called Special Operations Detachment North that folded into a larger special operations uh, element in Afghanistan. So what experiences there uh, are still with you today? Um, many, Senator. Um, I, I made a lot of lasting friendships both with uh, people in our unit and also with um, uh, the Afghan partners that we were working with. We were working with uh, special forces units and commandos in Afghanistan, and I've maintained contacts with all of those folks, including the interpreters who worked with us. Great, thank you for serving our country. Mr. Pitts, you are involved with an issue that is very interesting to this committee, and that is your representation of several professional sports labor organizations. Uh, addressing the uh, issue of name, image, and likeness and compensation for that. Can you tell us about how you got involved in that? Certainly, and thank you for the question, Senator. Uh, we, my colleagues and I, represented uh, five different unions of professional athletes in a number of cases that raised the question of whether video game makers in particular were entitled to exploit the likenesses of college athletes um, as a First Amendment matter uh, to increase the, the sale of their games or whether they had an obligation to pay the athletes for, for use of their name images and likenesses to increase uh, the value of those uh, video games. And, and we filed amicus briefs arguing that the, the proper balancing tests uh, in that case did, did show that the video game maker wasn't required to compensate those college athletes for the use of their name, images, and likenesses, and that was the position that both the Third Circuit and the Ninth Circuit adopted in their own decisions on the issue. Judge Gallagher, I understand that you manage the pro se docket in Colorado. I do, Senator. What that means? Uh, yes, thank you for the question. So Colorado has over 35 penal institutions, both state and federal, and the pro se docket is our intake docket where we screen approximately 1,200 prisoner and other pro se litigant cases that come into the court every year. Uh, it's an efficient way of determining whether cases need to move forward and have judicial attention moving forward or whether they are cases that are frivolous or for other reasons shouldn't move forward uh, as the as this committee knows, the flood of pro se cases, which make up approximately a third of the District of Colorado's civil dockets, uh, need a lot of time and attention, uh, bring serious issues to the court, and I've been proud to manage that docket for the past eight or so years. Thank you. Mr. Subramanian, you've run the table on clerkships. I think you've been at every level of the federal courts. And you've observed a lot of judges all the way up to the Supreme Court with Ruth Bader Ginsburg. What have you learned in your exposure to all of these judges at all these different levels that will uh, guide you if your nomination is approved? Thank you, Chair Durbin. Uh, the one unifying quality I think of a great judge is to treat every case like it's the most important case. Not even at the Supreme Court, most of the cases are not headline grabbing. But what sets the great judges apart is to treat even the most mundane seeming cases like they're the most important because they are the most important to the litigants in those cases and to be open-minded, to work hard. These are the values that all three of the judges I worked for had in spades. Good to know that. Uh, Ms. Hidalgo, I'm running out of time to ask questions, but I want to tell you that the bipartisan support we put together for the reauthorization of the Violence Against Women's Act 
uh, after five years of effort, really is one of the major achievements of the last two years in this committee. I wish you the best in your work, and I know that uh, filling this vacancy has been waiting for a while. I'm sure you'll do that job and do it well. Senator Grassley. Thank you, Chair yeah.